Hey everyone, we've got a really cool project for you this week. As you know, I love movies. Like, a lot. And it would be really awesome to go to the drive-in theater to watch a blockbuster film in my 1979 MGB spy car. The problem is, most drive-ins around here have actually closed, which is a real shame, because I really wanted to go on an old school date. And as you guys know, I'm working on a spy car right now. I'm talking rocket launchers under the headlights, a grappling hook launcher in the grill, and for romantic nights out, a built-in projector so you have a movie theater wherever you want. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to be making my own personal drive-in movie theater. In fact, LG liked our idea so much, they decided to partner with us on this project to help us make it super epic. They sent us their new Cinebeam 4K laser projector. It's one of the brightest and smallest consumer projectors on the market. Its transformative design allows it to be used almost anywhere. Okay, so I've got my classic car and this awesome projector. All I have to do is put them together and I'll have the ultimate portable drive-in movie theater. The only hard part of this project will be finding a date. Well, that's a future Hacksmith problem. Let's get started. So this car was made in 1979. That actually makes it 11 years older than I am. And personally, I think this is the perfect vehicle for a drive-in movie theater. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to power the projector off of the car and mount it. Just gotta plug it in and we can see where we can mount this. That's not too bad. Now where else can we put it? Maybe something like this. Now this is a rather small car, but luckily the projector is pretty compact, so I think we could fit it around here somewhere, but we might have to design some kind of mechanism. Now the funny thing is, before I quit my job to do YouTube full time, I actually worked for a company that designed and made digital movie projectors. The only difference is they're about $100,000 and absolutely massive. It's actually really impressive to see that LG has been able to shrink this technology down into a consumer product that's actually a very affordable price. Mounting this permanently in the car is actually going to be a bit of a challenge. So let's go to the computer and start looking at some 3D models. Alright, so to make the mechanism to actually raise the projector out of the MG so we can point it at the movie theater screen, uh, we're actually going to design it in CAD. Now the software we use is called SOLIDWORKS and the reason we use this software is because both Ian and I have a lot of experience with it. I'm talking over 10 years. I'm actually a certified SOLIDWORKS professional. The other software we're going to be using is called GrabCAD. Now GrabCAD is actually a website that allows you to share your 3D models with everyone else in the world for free. And actually we have a lot of our projects on there. If you guys want to check out our profile, there's a link in the description below. But the other feature it has is a private cloud for you to share your projects with other people in your business or your team. So we actually had Bogdan um, measure up the projector and create a rough model of the projector which will allow us to design the mechanism around it. So let's just add in some of the parts. So we're going to be using a linear actuator to um, actually move the projector. They're easy to use, they're electrically powered, they take about 12 volts, make a bracket, Add in some other parts. And there we go, one projector mechanism. And as you can see, goes from closed position all the way up into open. All right, let's build it. Cut out the side pieces, pull that out, set it down, and then you just have to trace out the pattern. There we go. And then we just cut it out. Oh, really? Really? Really, really. No, I'm just kidding. We're actually going to be using our Maverick CNC plasma cutter that we got from Elite Metal Tools. I've already loaded the TXF in, so I just need to press go and it'll cut it out.
If you guys are curious about how this circuit actually works, check out the circuit diagram at maker.io. All right, now that Bogdan's finished up with electronics, we are ready to permanently install this into the car. Oh man, this is heavy. Why do we make all of our projects so heavy? This projector was so light before we added all the steel to it. Easy. Now we just have to screw it down. Plus the projector ships with two wood screws for installing into your spy car. All right, now that we've got the projector mounted in the car, we need to power it somehow. The funny thing is, consumer electronics actually run off of DC power, what you find in a battery. But because they're designed to be plugged into the wall, which uses AC, the power to supply inside of consumer electronics actually converts AC to DC to power the electronics. Now, a car battery, which is 12 volts DC, would actually run most electronics. But we don't want to take apart the projector to bypass its internal power converter. So what we're going to do is actually get a power inverter. Now this will take 12 volts DC and convert it to 120 volts AC, which will feed into the projector, which will then convert it back to DC. Woohoo, electricity. Now the projector itself is actually extremely power efficient because it uses lasers. We used a power meter to see how much power it actually draws from the wall, and it's only 152 watts. That's like two light bulbs. Old style projectors that use xenon lamps are more like 1500 watts, or 10 times the energy consumption as this projector, which is really cool. So we actually kind of oversized the inverter just a little bit. This is actually a 2000 watt power inverter. And the reason we did that was we're planning more gadgets for the car, and we want to make sure we have enough power to power everything. Well, you have to have a hair dryer in the car. 152. That's a light bulb. That's 3,000 lumens. How do they do it? The ultimate test is overkill power supply. It's for the car to power the projector to make our portable drive-in movie theater. Now, the only concern I have is this does not actually put out a pure sine wave, as you would get from the wall. It puts out a modified sine wave, whatever that means. So hopefully that's not an issue. Hooray! Right. That's a beautiful image.
Now what's a spy car without a license plate flipper? Now unfortunately license plate flippers are illegal, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to put a decorative license plate flipper on there while maintaining the real license plate right here. Here's the control box. Complete with remote control. All right, so we've got all the electronics in the trunk now. And as you can see, we actually put a second car battery in the trunk as well, and that's to power all of our auxiliary spy gadgets. But I think we're missing one thing. Ian? Yeah, that's right, a Hacksmith Industries branded fire extinguisher. All right. Now we can test it. All right, so inside the cigarette ashtray, we can turn on the inverter like so, and now it should lower. <laughs> nice. Now we can just plug in the projector like so into our outlet right there and if you flip the switch the other way up it goes <laughs> just the mirror <laughs> Gotta turn the lights off. Lights! <laughs> ah, not too bad. All right, that works pretty good. Now, it's time to go on my date. I picked such a far location to do the drive-in. It's really boring. Wait a sec. They're closed. I think I brought my own. Well, nothing beats an old drive-in movie theater, especially when you can bring it wherever you want to go. Now, time to watch my favorite YouTuber. All right, that worked pretty darn good. This projector is 2,500 lumens, which is super bright for a home theater projector. Its recommended maximum screen size is 150 inches, but even projecting a video on the entire side of a gray building, it was still completely watchable. Now, for our final test, we're gonna set up our own proper size 150 inch screen in the park and have our own little drive-in movie theater for the entire neighborhood. Let's get set up.
All righty, show's over. All right, that was awesome. Huge thank you to LG for sponsoring this project. And if you guys wanna learn more about the Cinebeam 4K laser projector, check out my links below. It truly is an awesome projector. As for our spy car, make sure you're subscribed, notifications turned on. We'll be adding jet engines, tire spikes, missiles, smoke screens, lasers, and more very soon.